Hello, welcome to another video. I am usually really bad at keeping up with new releases. I don't pre-order things pretty much ever. I'm really bad at it. I've got no idea what's coming out when most of the time. However, there are a few things on my spring release radar and as this is kind of a rarity for me, I thought I should let you know what they are. So over the next few months, there's a handful of books, just a handful, not many, uh, that I have got currently sat in my online basket because I repeat, I don't pre-order anything ever. I really should do that. Not that I've got the tokens too, so maybe I shouldn't. But they're in my online basket for when I do have the tokens for. Um, and I'm gonna take you through what they are. So if they're not on your release radar, Maybe they should be. First up on my list is The Last Fi Hunter by Salony Goldenberg. This comes out on the 9th of April, so it is the closest to release on this list. Um, apologies if I keep looking over here as well, it's where I've got all my notes on all of these books written out. So, The Last Fi Hunter, 9th of April, which is about a young man called X who is a Fi Hunter. He is the youngest Fi Hunter of the Fi Hunting Order and he has spent his life so far hunting and slaying ghosts and demons, which is pretty cool. And whilst he takes pride in this work, it uh, doesn't quite give him the glory that he wants when he's accepting mediocre bounties and then selling butchered spirit organs uh, to make a living. So he has decided that he is going to hunt down the demon of nightmares who has evaded many hunters before him and this big kill will uh, bring him the glory that he's after. So off he goes to hunt down this uh, nightmarish demon and along the way in a village apparently gets into a bit of a fight that he's having an ass kicking in and a nine month pregnant woman saves him. Arinya saves X from a brutal ass kicking and in return asks to be escorted through the dangerous spirit filled forest. The spirits in this forest apparently have a taste for the unborn which sounds terrifying. So X agrees to escort her through this forest and along the way not only does he have to face the dangers of man and monster but also as the secrets of Arinya's past come out he has to protect himself from the dangers of falling in love. The romance towards the end of that description loses me a little bit but hunting down the demon of nightmares and killing ghosts and demons as a as a profession sounds pretty cool so I'm excited about that one. 9th of April, uh, if I've got a token I'll be grabbing it. <laughs> then the 25th of April has a few on the list. The 25th of April is clearly a big release day. Uh, the first one I've got down for the 25th is Skandar and the Chaos Trials by A.F. Steadman. This is the third book in the Skandar and the Unicorn Thief trilogy. Uh, it is Skandar's third year um, training with his unicorn. Um, if you're unfamiliar with that series as a whole, it is uh, unicorns as you have never seen them before. It's a middle grade series. Uh, unicorns are not quite as uh, wonderful and magical as you may be used to seeing them. And I always say with Skandar it's kind of in the same realm as Nevermore in terms of it's a middle grade book that I think everyone can find something to love about it. I thoroughly enjoy it even when I haven't necessarily been in a middle grade mood. Skandar has still been one that I've enjoyed so I I recommend it highly. But yeah, we're up to the third one. There are elemental trials, there is danger, bonds and friendships will be put to the test. I cannot say too much because obviously full of spoilers because it will be book three, uh, but I am very excited about continuing that series um, and didn't realise that that one was actually going to be out quite so soon. I feel like I didn't read Skandar and whatever the second one's called that long ago, so I'm excited to get my mitts on that. Also on the 25th of April we have The Silver Blood Promise by James Logan, and immediately when I was looking up at this one it is comped to James Islington. 
And if you've watched anything from me recently, when I recently read Will of the Many and absolutely <laughs> fell in love with it, James Islington has become one of my favourite authors. I have loved everything I've read from him. I've read the Lycanius trilogy and Will of the Many, loved them all. It's all five-star material, so comparing to James Islington, we're off to a good start with this uh, James Logan chap. This one is about a young man called Lucas, who is an academy dropout, starting strong. And thanks to a duel that ended badly, he is also the disgraced heir to a noble house. His life consists of cheap wine, rigged card games, and wondering what his life's purpose is, how to get his life back on track, what is he doing with himself? Relatable. <laughs> Then he discovers that his estranged father has been murdered, and this sparks something within Lucas, and um, he finds his purpose and vows to unravel the mystery behind his father's murder. This mystery takes him to a fabled city of merchant princes where anything can be bought if you pay the right price, but when you're trying to buy the truth, it turns out the truth has the deadliest price of all. Interpret that as you will. I don't know quite what that means, but I am intrigued. I'm excited about that one. I have heard some very good early reviews on that one. I know a few people that have read Arxfit and loved it very much. It's been getting some, some good feedback from people that I trust. I'm excited about that one quite a bit. Um, and then the third one for the 25th of April, very busy book release day, is Dragon Rider from Taran Mathuru. Now Taran Mathuru is an author that I feel like I hear about a lot. I have just not got into Taran Mathuru myself. Uh, maybe Dragon Rider will be that book, or maybe it'll be another book of his that's just kind of on my radar and I never get round to. I don't know, I think I'll see how the reviews start coming in for this one. This follows a young chap called Jay. Jay is a royal hostage and a servant to the empire that killed his family and now rules over his people. He watches from afar as this kingdom becomes stronger and stronger and a new alliance is formed with a princess from a northern icy realm. That's where this one might get me, you know. It could be the northern icy realm. If there's a hint, little sprinkle of polar in there, could do it for me. Uh, what could also do it for me is that this princess, when she's coming over to strike this alliance and be betrothed to the prince or the emperor or whoever it is, is that she brings gifts and those gifts are dragons. And those dragons are only supposed to be able to be bonded to the royals. However, the betrothal goes awry, uh, and in the chaos, Jay flees with a dragon egg, sparking up a bond that could change the fate of the world. So I don't know. It's got some buzzwordy bits in there. There's an empire in a little bit of turmoil, there's dragons, there's a icy realm involved. It could be one I enjoy, but I do think I'm gonna wait and see how some of those reviews come in first to see if I get my mitts on that one. Another one that is in my basket uh, is How to Become the Dark Lord and Die Trying by Django Wexler. <laughs> this one sounds funny and I'm quite excited to get my hands on this one. I think it's gonna be a good time. This one comes out on the 23rd of May. Uh, this is about a young woman called Davy, uh, who is stuck in a time loop. She's stuck in a time loop, and in this time loop, she has tried time and time again to be the hero and take down the Dark Lord. And every single time, the hundreds of times she's rallied against the Dark Lord, she always fails. The time loop, always catches up with her, and she is defeated. So now she is done being the hero, and she is over being stuck in this time loop. And if the Dark Lord always wins, then she's gonna become the Dark Lord. What better way to defend the kingdom from the Dark Lord than to become the Dark Lord herself? 
I think this could be quite funny. The title itself suggests so, how to become the Dark Lord and die trying. Like, we already know it's not going to go well for poor Davy. <laughs> but I think this could be fun. Sounds like a good time. So I'm up for that one. <laughs> And then the last one on my list, this one comes out on the 25th of June, so we are heading into summer a bit more here, but it is Saints of Storm and Sorrow by Gabrielle Buber. This one is about a woman called Maria Lunarin, who is a bisexual nun living a double life. On one hand, she is a dutiful nun devoted to the people who colonised her land, looking after the people, being Sister Maria. Uh, but behind closed doors, she is a storm caller hiding this goddess-given gift. She is the chosen daughter of the goddess with this power. Not only is Lunarin hiding from the witch hunters that would kill her for this god-given gift that she has, but it turns out she's also hiding from her slated goddess because she made a choice that made the goddess not so happy. In an act of desperation to protect her small family, the people that she loves, Lunarin turns to the heir of a powerful family, and this sets into motion a chain of events well beyond her control that do provoke the rage of her goddess. And it turns out that when the goddess demands vengeance, anyone in her way will be swept aside. So we've got an angry goddess, a god-gifted nun, um, and a bunch of people that sound like they deserve what's coming to them. So that sounds like it could be a good time. I think I'll probably get my mitts on that. Quite buzzwordy. Sounds like a good time. A goddess's rage does sound like fun. But yeah, they're the ones that are on my radar. I know it's not many. As I say, I do not keep up with new releases. If you know my taste and or if you can gauge my taste from this little list of upcoming books and there's any others that you think should be on my radar, should be waiting in my little basket, then please do let me know about them. If you are excited about any of the ones that I've mentioned here today as well, let me know about that too. I would love to know if you're excited about them as well. I hope you have enjoyed hanging out with me for a little bit and uh, yeah, I will see you in whatever comes next. Bye!